It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Oh my god, is this a crossover episode? Mm-hmm, it is. And we got a very nice package. Straight from Glorious Nihong. What we have here is two, not just one, but two bags of ramen noodles. Authentic Naruto ramen. You can just boil it into the freaking, what is it? I forgot the name. Some sort of place you just boil, you just boil the noodles and just eat it. Then right here is some sort of Tokyo shirt. And... Right here, it says, uh, Subuya City. Subuya City. Is that pronounced correctly? That's close enough for me. Okay, now translate what these are. <laughs> Alright. First, I'm just gonna describe what they are. Then I'll give you the names later. Okay? Mm -hmm. These right here, that's, are like cookies. These are like, uh, different types of flavors. This is a uh, iced tea flavor cookie. This is strawberry flavor. This, these are like a uh, cheese, cheese a cuckoo. That's racist. No, 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 it's not me being. It's you literally transcribing this cheese a cuckoo. That is so racist. <laughs> and these are like, of course, the black chocolate, the white chocolate. But you prefer white chocolate or vanilla chocolate? I mean, well, it's, I mean, it doesn't make a difference because it might as well be for vanilla. Do you prefer white chocolate or dark chocolate? Dark. All right, then. Now, for the cookies, it transcribes to Hai Suko. And I transcribe all of this using my nice, helpful book on katakana. Now, this right here, of course, I don't even have to say this again. This right here is like the same kind of brand. It says Fu Ra Nakuru. Or at least the closest I could possibly find it. I'm not familiar with these brands. It's the first time I'm going to try some of this stuff. So, let's pause the video and start. Alright, time to commence the taste testing. Alright, I don't know where to begin. I guess I'll just try the chocolate. Alright. The chocolate... And wait a second. It appears that there's some sort of cracker onto. That's it. racist. Why does everything have to be racist? Because it's 2019. At some point, it's gonna lose any meaning. Anyway, th these are just the crackers onto the um, chocolate. It tastes like crackers and chocolate. I said it's just. Crackers and chocolate. All right. Next up, we have the cookies. I'm just gonna go on the safe side and have the one that supposedly tastes like iced tea. Cause I like strawberries. Don't get me wrong. But I prefer iced tea way more. Well, I think the vanilla one was pretty nice. Or the one with cream filling. Okay, it's like you get the crackers between the filling and I guess you have to eat it. The filling. No, you you put it you put it like in a in a drink. That's what that's what you do. So you just want to you know use like a what was it a blender and just crush it all together to make it to like a iced tea kind of crunchy drink. I guess. Just not. put it in your mouth already and eat it. It tastes like crackers and dry tea. Is that, <laughs> is that good? It's interesting. Are you ready for the cheesecake? Yeah, I'm ready for the cheesecake. You ready for the Japanese cheesecake? Yeah, the cheesecake. This is actually kind of hard to open. You want to hear a joke? What? You know, in some parts of Japan, cheesecake means breasts. Are you serious? I thought it was like opai. Oh, well, it's kind of interchangeable. So, they use both opie and cheesecake for breasts. Well, cheesecake is like more like a, you know, a, like how it's like kind of like pudding almost, you know, like delicious and stuff. I'm just going to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
this tastes like cheesecake. With chocolate in it? No chocolate. It's just, I just taste just sponge and like the filling, but it's no chocolate. All right, with your translations and all that mastery going on, what does this mean? This right here? Yeah, then that you're the expert, right? What does this mean? These are just the Japanese yen. Like, basically, it's not the dollar bills, but it's just the coins. Like, I know that they have, like, these um, yen stores. Like, it's kind of like the dollar store, but they have these little yen stores where people can go into, like, these stores and buy things really cheaply. But sometimes, for the higher notes, they do use, like, the dollar bill to pay for stuff. Wow, I wonder where this Tokyo magnet came from. Like everything else in life, it came from China. <gasps> yeah, Chi you know what's funny about this is that the Japanese people and Chinese, they actually had a long rivalry for a very long time. But I guess maybe most people are over it, but like for the longest time, they actually had some sort of clashing. But that's all I'm going to say about the whole China-Japan stuff. Are we ready for this? We got some brand spanking new prizes, like this shirt. All I gotta do is name my favorite anime. Your favorite anime? Yeah. That is not hard to know. I say your favorite anime, as of right now, is Naruto. Oh, now that's something, isn't it? And what's over here? Ultraman. Ultraman, here he comes from the sky. All you gotta do is answer one question. Oh, what's the next question? Who plays Broly in Vic Dragon Ball Super? Vic Mignogna? Ta-da! Yeah, I especially like the Ultraman. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I guess that's everything that... We have from Japan, so... You yeah. mean those glasses right there? No, no, no. If it was, like, Japanese glasses, I would probably have it to be high-tech. All right, well, this is just like Bomb signing out. And Tyler Preston 20. Ni hao. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler